Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Well over a year ago, I switched to Linux. And honestly, it's been very, very interesting to say the least. So then the question is like, why did I switch? And I already made a video about this. You can go check it up in the card or whatever. But to briefly summarize, I hated Windows. Windows 10 was annoying me. Just force updates, you know, this, that, crashing, just random stuff bloated. And I wanted to change. Like, I just wanted to experiment. I've always been kind of like a power user. So I'm like, okay, how much can I like push? Like how much I can know and how much I can like do with my system. Now, honestly, Linux has taught me so much stuff about computers. Like I, my knowledge of computers has like exponentially like increased. Like I started using a lot of programs that I probably would not use on Windows otherwise, such as like Vim and LaTeX, which honestly, anything you want to do with like writing papers or like assignments or something and just writing and programming in general with Vim is just insane. Like the amount of efficiency you can get is just insane. It is true that they've got a steep learning curve, but honestly you save so much time compared to just using like bad and less efficient ways. So honestly, I've learned so much about stuff that I just wouldn't expect. Furthermore, you know, just about computers like security, um, Linux, like how does like, you know, what is LS, you know, and all these like random commands, um, I learned <laughs> like there really isn't like, I just learned a lot about the Linux system. And from that, you can learn so much like little skills and like ways of thinking, like scripting and programming and all this stuff that just comes from Linux. So just really grateful for that. You know, it's been really, it's been really good. I've been really happy with it. And honestly, Linux one thing you will experience is you'll experience very random issues that you won't experience on windows and or should i say windows you experience random issues linux you experience issues that you know why but you don't know how to fix and it kind of like it, it's good like a it's a good exercise for your brain you really got to think about like okay how can i like fix this or like you know you'll do something that you messed up with your computer like your audio suddenly doesn't work and you're like okay what like how can i resolve this so in a way like I'm not saying like, you know, I chose Linux because I wanted like a little bit of brain stimulation, but you know, it's good. Like, okay, now I know better, like know how to solve issues on a computer. And especially because I know, understand like the root file system and stuff compared to like Windows, I have no idea how the file system works, but Linux, you kind of have to learn it if you want to do, I mean, you don't have to, but like, it's good to learn it, especially if you want to get like serious with like your knowledge and like what to do and where to put files and this and that. Honestly, finally, it's like the benefits, the benefits of Linux are just insane compared to well i like it i like it compared to windows for example downloading downloading is so easy let's say i want to download i type in p-s whatever program let's say firefox and then you know i put in my password and it will get all the dependencies and i can just download it like that don't have to focus on anything i can just like press y it'll take like maybe like five seconds and then i can just load up firefox and that's it now even this, technically the command is pacman-s Firefox, but I've created a shortcut, you know, and actually it's pseudo pacman. So there's ways to be even more efficient. So this is like an extremely efficient way. Just type in one letter, boom, and that's like downloading. And usually, even if I don't want to, like, let's say I want to, like, for university, I have to download this program called Logisim. Well, okay, I'll do this, Logisim, and oh, okay, it's, you know, I, I can't auto-complete tab it, but... If I do yai, which is now downloading from the Arch AUR, I can type in logis sim, tab autocomplete, and usually it'll take like a second or two, but then it'll show me like, okay, what files, oh, okay, there. I can download logis sim or logis sim evolution. Oh, I wanna download logis sim evolution. And then boom, I can already download a program that is quite, not obscure, but it's, it's more obscure compared to, compared to other programs. And other distros, such as like, let's say Debian or something, will not have that feature. You will have to download, like you have to go on GitHub and then find the Debian repository, whatever, um, or like the Debian file. And sometimes it doesn't even, like let's say you're on an even more obscure distro, then let's say you're on Gen 2, then you just have to fully compile it from source. Now, if you're on Gen 2, you probably want to do that, but on other distros, like it's just a hassle compared to Arch. And this is just the benefit of like, not even just Arch, but like Linux, you can just download so many programs just like that. You don't even have to focus about like extracting and then putting the file. Where do I choose the file? It just does it all automatically. If I want to fully clean out, um, like get rid of a program, let's say I want to get rid of, um, so I do have Logisim downloaded. If I want to fully delete it and all its dependencies, I can do that. And it's not even just that 
I delete the actual program. I delete all the extra programs that it downloaded. So it's just great. It's just amazing. I love it. Um, Linux is free. You know, you don't, it doesn't cost anything. Like it's just free. Like <laughs> it's all, it's, you know, you don't compared to, you don't have to buy a license and it's not only free, but it's free. Like there's freedom to it. You're not locked into anything. You can do whatever you want, how you want it. So I love that. Um, it's more secure because it's open source. There's people always looking at it, seeing, okay, is this program like running well? Like, how is it going? There's people always watching, especially for big program like Linux, like Linux is probably the most watched over overviewed, um, repository in, in the entirety of GitHub. So there's people always having eyes on it. You know, it's just going to be secure. And then finally, just less bloated. It's clean. I love, I hated windows. There's just so many like extra stuff. It's slow. You press a button, like after a while, it just gets like all slow in this, just random bugs as you download more and more programs. Um, it's just, oh, there's just so much like random crap that you don't even use. Linux, especially my setup, very minimalist. It's clean. Like I just have what I need and nothing and nothing more. So I love it for that. But um, overall, yeah, Linux been over well over a year i love it not gonna change uh, i hate windows <laughs> i've kind of made my channel and grown my channel an insane amount i have to say like we nearly hit a thousand subscribers thank you guys 950 it's insane um i really appreciate the support and it's only from linux only from linux i was able to reach this kind of growth and yeah i'm just really happy it's helped me out a lot i've learned a lot and um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you got some insight. Maybe you got inspired to also switch to Linux. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.